Okay, now that you have set up your ozone monitor and weather station according to the parts one and two insulation videos, we are going to show you how to collect and upload ozone and weather data. So go to your laptop's desktop and click on Shortcut to Data Display application. This will bring up the data display and uploading program. So to set everything up correctly, go to Settings and select Device. If you have your weather station already set up, you're going to want to choose Go 3 with Weather Data. If you don't yet have your weather station set up and want to upload ozone data only, click on Go 3. I have my weather station set up, so I'm going to click on Go 3 with Weather Data and say OK. Then go back to the settings menu and select connection settings. This will set the communication port that data is coming in from the ozone monitor. So I know that I have my ozone monitor connected to COM1, communications port 1, which is typically the serial port. And that would be the gray cable that you use to connect your ozone monitor to the computer. So. In this case, I'm going to select COM1 because I know my ozone monitor is plugged into COM1. You can leave everything, at its, everything else at its default value and click Save. Then go back up to Settings and set the weather connection settings. So I know I have my weather station plugged into COM3, so I'm going to choose COM3 and click Save. Now we're ready to start collecting Data, uh, ozone data and weather data. So click Start and it'll prompt you to save a text file. This is the text file that all your data will be saved in uh, as you collect it. Every point is saved to this text file in real time. So the default name of the text file is the date and time that you started uh, collecting data. So I have specified a folder that I'd like to save my data in and I say save. So it'll start receiving data and here it is. Here's my ozone data coming from my ozone monitor. And I have my ozone monitor set on 10 seconds uh, so that I can see these points coming in rather frequently. If you don't see these uh, data columns filling in, you could have the wrong communications port selected or you could have your ozone monitor on 15 minute averaging, in which case you won't see a data point for another 15 minutes. So you would want to set your ozone monitor on 10 second settings so you can see um, that everything's working. Then press start for the weather data retrieval. And in another couple data points, we'll start seeing weather data fill in in these columns. And there it is. So we know that we're collecting weather data as well. A quick check is also to click on display. This is a general overview of our current weather uh, readings. And if you don't see anything in here, you know that there's a connection issue with your weather station. Now we're going to start uploading data. So we're going to go back to settings and upload configuration. This should already be filled out for you, but if it's not, you're going to put in GO3 for your instrument model, instrument model GO3, O not a zero, that's very important, and the serial number which you can find on the back of your ozone monitor, and click close. Then you're going to press start, and that will give you a green on, and it'll tell you the last time and date that it uploaded data. If you see an upload error pop up here, it'll say one or two, however many times it's tried to upload data and failed. That will probably mean that you are not uploading uh, your data and something's going wrong. It may be as simple as the computer is not connected to the internet. So check that you have the computer ch uh, connected to the internet. And if you still can't figure out what's going on, go ahead and go to help and send error log to go through tech support. Click on that. And that will send us an error log. Uh, this, in this case, it failed because I don't have any upload errors. But uh, if you do have upload errors, this will send us a log of your errors so we can figure out what's going on. 